following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We start out the day today looking at the German DAX, and as you can see there, it's just made a beautiful ABCD pattern in a downtrend. And the next one, of course, we have posted the chart of the FTSE, and you can see multiple ABCD patterns in there also. And as a reminder, today our guest will be Stan Harley of you know, the Harley Stock Market Letter. If you remember, he was uh, just on with us on the 16th of March. And at that time, he said, we're going up. And by golly, we've been going up in stocks for sure. Anyway, we're going to be watching those uh, very, very carefully. But right now, I'd like to tell you a little story. Way back in November, we had a nice young man come by the house and do some small uh, construction stuff for us, putting in a, 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 a sunlight, a skylight and stuff like that and uh, he was very uh, college educated very nice fellow and uh, he happened to be looking over my shoulder while I was uh, you know looking at uh, the charts and stuff and he show, I showed him what I did and stuff he thought that was uh, very interesting and he asked if I would uh, take a look at one of his charts and so I did and I'll bring this up to you now so that you can take a look at it you've all heard of it of course we'll discuss it here a little bit because it's in the news quite a bit today and that is none other than our old friend Netflix that everybody uses or well, everybody used to use it anyway you'll notice here that uh, here's where we are and what I was showing him was this big if you'll see here this huge A B C D pattern up into this area right here and then the smaller A B C D pattern right in here and I said look this is a three drive to a top pattern I said it's one of the most bearish patterns you can possibly get. A stock was trading above 700 that day, uh, right around Thanksgiving, because his daughter was coming home from UCLA. And by golly, uh, son of a gun, we have, uh, uh oh, we got a caller coming in. I better take the call first from Tampa, Florida. We've got Tom on the line. Tom, what can I help you with? Silence. I'm very good at silence. Just keep it up, and you're going to do well, Tom. I guess that messed that up. I don't. Hey, know I'm here. Happened. I'm here. Can you hear me? Hey, 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 hey! Looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. What can I help you with, Tom? Hey, I want to take a look at the stock, uh, Larry uh, SPCE. Okay, and what is that, Tom? Uh, space. Uh, I guess these guys are going to be taking trips back and forth to Mars. The best I could tell. Back and forth to Mars. Well, book me, a, book me a seat, buddy. Make it one way, would you? <laughs> you, you know, getting off, getting off, just tell you what a strange world we live in, my friend. You know, I'm a big Los Angeles Dodger fan, and they were playing Atlanta in Los Angeles. I like to look at that place because uh, many, many memories I have of the Los Angeles, you know, Dodger Stadium there. And I was watching the game, and all of a sudden, I'm watching it, and I noticed these are these advertisements on the pitcher's mind, mound for Geico <laughs> and Lone Depot and uh, three or four other things. And then I realized these are placed on the camera to look like they're on the mound. And they're just yeah. advertising the heck out of these things, these subliminal stuff. And I said, well... I'm afraid they're going to lose me again because I just don't go for that kind of stuff. I think if you're going to watch a baseball game, you shouldn't have to be inundated with advertisement everywhere, but that's neither here nor there. You know, uh, what I'm going to have to do here, just give me one second. We can do this together because I know you're a very patient fellow. And let me get this up here so I can just add SPAC. Is that it? Is that no, no, no. Uh, uh, who owns that mm -hmm. thing or who, who's the big person? Uh, it's, it's aerospace and defense is what it is. Oh, um, oh wow. The, yeah. Okay. It's got an incredible volume on it. I mean it's is you know it looks SP, like S P A C or S P C S P C A or S P A S P A C. No, it's S P C A, isn't it? No. S P C E. Okay, S P C E. All right, let me get this. There you go. There you go. 
It just takes an Italian four extra trips to do something. S P C E. I look, that looks like space anyway. Here's where we got it at. Boy, it's it's in the sewer right now. Trading it. To, oh my gosh! Every Chinese person in the world will be buying this today. Do you know why? It's trading at 888. That's the that's a complement of uh, double aces in uh, in Chinese. That's a buy. Let me get this up here. We're sitting right at a beautiful 61 percent retracement. And hold on, let me move this over just one second here so I can get this over here so we can see it with any luck at all. I'll have it up. Please let it get in here for Tom. I want to see it because uh, there it is. Oh, no, that's not it. That's something. Here it is right here. I got it in here. There we go. We're almost in business within a hair's breadth anyway. Yeah, this is a, this is not a bad-looking stock at 888. And um, anyway, there's a sitting right at the 61% retracement. If it goes to 788, I'd sell it. But right now... It looks like it's got a chance. He has a beautiful bottom uh, right down in here, Tom. You see he had a beautiful A, B, C, D right at the bottom here. And right. now we had a pretty good rally. We backed off to the 61% retracement. So your short-term trend is up. You're sitting right at 618. So you could buy it there and uh, not risk very much at all. Okay. Sounds good. That's what I thought. I just was you're, not, you're not thinking of taking okay. one of those trips, are you, pal? No, 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 not right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> my wife, my wife gave me a gave me one of those uh, trips into this, uh, you know, uh, one of these uh, a quarter million dollar trips. You know, they go up and come back down in in a matter of ten minutes. But she made my trip my ticket one way. I don't under quite understand why, but I'm, I'm beginning to get the feeling of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not too bad. Hey, listen, thanks for calling in, and Tampa's a wonderful place. If you see Tom and Tommy down there, tell them I said hello. Yeah, I will. I sure will, Larry. Okay, thank you so much. Good, good talking to you. All right, have you a great bet. day. You bet. Okay, folks, let's get back. We were talking about the uh, fellow with Netflix, and I told him, I said, look, this is, hey, we got a caller from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, none other than Mr. Z. What it be, Mr. Z? How do you feel today, my friend? Larry, I'm doing fabulous. I am, uh, I am so intrigued and happy for you uh, regarding your trip to London mm -hmm. and the reception that you got. Uh, yeah. That reception, my friend, is incredibly well-deserved. And uh, yeah. I personally, and I know a great many people, thank you profusely for sharing your knowledge and uh, and counsel over the years. Uh, it's been invaluable to many of us, me included. Well, thank you, John. What can I do for you today, buddy? Are you only uh, as good as your last futures. meal in this business? Yeah, uh, T-Bond Futures, Larry. The yep. low uh, yesterday or day before was 138.14. Yes, sir. Yesterday I heard you comments regarding the severity of the decline Mm. the past weeks, uh, past months and weeks, which you correctly called, and I have been watching you, and you've traded that very nicely to the short side. But you mar remarked yesterday that, as you see it, the potential for a turning point bottom was possible. Wanted to ask you to uh, expand upon that, please. I will when the break comes up, John. We've got to pay a few bills. We've got Mr. Z from Philly on the line. We'll be right back, folks. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with uh, Mr. Z from Philadelphia, and John was asking about the Treasury bonds and Treasury note bottom that I'm potentially looking at. I posted the chart here of the long-term weekly here. You can see we had this 382 retracement here that completed this ABCD here at this 1.618 level. Uh, what I did yesterday is I bought the notes at uh, 119.04. I got stopped out of those at 28 uh, for a loss of about uh, a little under $200. The bonds went substantially lower, as John was uh, that John was telling us about here today. But now we've we've uh, we've rallied two point two full handles now into Treasury bonds, and it appears, John, that uh, I was off by a day, which happens all the time, as you know. So I'll be watching to uh, try to buy the bonds on a pullback. What's interesting today, John, and I'll, I'll try to bring this up. I had so many charts today to share with everybody because so many things were happening that I wanted to, uh, to let the folks see uh, the value of some of these things we watch. And I, all I got to do now is find the doggone thing, and I know I will. Nope, that's not the one I want. Well, there's just so many of so many 382s today, John. I can't count them all, and uh, all of them work but one. And uh, I'll tell you, it's uh, oh, that's that's uh, weed again. I, hold on, um, is this it? This is it. Shut the front door and raise her in. I found it on the 12th try. Hold on it just a minute, pal, and we'll get this up here. This is what's happened over the last uh, 48 hours or so in the Treasury bond. You see, we made that big low down there, and we went up and exact to the 382 today. We backed off just a little bit to the 382 off this low, and we're now taking that high out right now. That's the first sign that this market has turned, John. So um, that's, that's what I'm looking at. And I... You know, if we go below that low now that we made at 3810, uh, I believe we're probably going to go down to 30, 135 would be my guess. But uh, a major, uh, a good substantial bottom is here. And believe me, John, everybody knows that interest rates are going to go higher, and this market is incredibly oversold. We are seven standard deviations away from the mean on that two-year note, which that just, I mean, that's never happened before. And I was going to show the chart on that. Uh, in just a little bit. And since you're on the air, if you'll stay with me, I'll show you that chart because uh, it has uh, been a, the, really a lot of trouble for uh, BlackRock. And here, 
here is the chart here. We'll get it up here, and you'll see what's happened to this. This thing has dropped 28%, folks, and this, you can see where it is now, compare where it's been at other times. That's how oversold we are in this TLT. So we're due for a massive rally. Uh, whether that'll move stocks around or not, I'm not really sure. All I know is that that's been a really big move to the downside. We're due for a bounce. Interest rates are going higher, but how much higher and stuff, I'm not really quite sure. I'd like to have your feedback on it, buddy. What do you think? No, you know, I uh, I have no feedback to contribute, Larry. I, uh, uh, yeah. You know me, I focus on intermediate-term trends. Uh, many markets, I don't see the intermediate-term trends coming, and so if I don't see it yeah. coming and it starts to go that way, yeah. I essentially uh, just monitor from the sidelines. That has been my yeah. case with, frankly, the past nine months of the bond market, so... Um, uh, that's my situation. I do have to ask this, Larry. I do recall the last time I heard you and Larry Williams speak, he was out in Red Lodge, Montana at that time. It was last summer, uh, August time frame. And he was describing how he had a very large uh, trading long position in the T-bonds. I think he took that on in June or something. And he was taking profits in August, and his psycho work was calling for topping, so I'm sure he made lots of money coming back to short side. I'm wondering now, if you've spoken to him, if he's got any psycho work that suggests a bottom, and if so, you know, what sort of cyclical time frames he has uh, for a potential rally. Well, John, as uh, the trading gods might say, we got really lucky yesterday. I spoke with Larry because our good friend Jim Dines passed away at the age of 91 over in California, and we were chatting about that. He was a really stand-up guy, just the uh, nicest fellows you'd ever want to meet. But uh, Larry is uh, looking to the long side of bonds in here. I know that. Now, whether he's in them yet or not, I'm not sure, but I know that's one of the things he looks at because of the cyclic the cyclical nature of it into this March, April, May is usually really good for the rally in bonds, but the fact that it's so very, very oversold. So that's that's all I uh, that's all I can give you from that uh, standpoint. Now that's uh, that is so funny uh, that uh, you just spoke to him this week. That's terrific. Yes, one last question, Larry. And by the way, thank you for your work uh, answering my question with. Your uh, assessment of the longer-term chart, the deeply oversold nature, are you therefore trading, you know, I know how you trade, you trade short-term, I, I understand the tools and techniques you use, but do you now switch your bond and T-note futures trading exclusively to the long side, or will you just look for your patterns and trade both directions as you see it? I, I trade both directions. Last night we had a 382 retracement in the bonds, and I sold it, had $500 in it, went down to the 382. So that's all I was interested in doing. And so it worked very, very well for me. So I just moved on. John, I'm really good short term because, you know, in short term, you can make less mistakes than you can on the long term. That's the bottom line of it. So, but it works for me. And, and uh, you know, that's what I try to do is to keep the losses small and try to make more than I lose. That's really what I'm watching for. Thanks for the input, Larry, and taking the call. Uh, we'll look forward to your conversation with Stan John, Harley today. John, always love to do it. Okay, you. folks, Bye. you bet. We'll be right back, folks, and we're going to talk just a little bit here more about Netflix. I have to show you this, folks. This was Netflix yesterday. You can see the high that we made back here at this level right here. Believe it or not, folks, at 353 yesterday, we hit an exact 382 off of that high. That high was about 10 days ago, and there's been a slight sell-off in the Netflix, as you can see today. Those of you that uh, bought the put options at that time that I recommended, uh, I'm sure you've done pretty well today. And if anybody believes that, I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge. I don't trade stocks, but boy, what a great place to get short. Look at that, folks. You sell it at 352 it drops $100 a share. Are you kidding me? Boy, oh boy, that's a, something's really seriously wrong with that. And speaking of that, I wanted to show you something. Uh, we'll get on to the next one right here very, very shortly because uh, it's just as important as anything else because of the fact that it hit it so perfectly today and couldn't go any higher. And that is the 382 that we have walking in the, uh, working in the NASDAQ. You'll see there it is right there. There's a perfect 382, folks, within one point. 
went one point higher of the 382 that we made way back here a long time ago. You can see we've been in a downtrend with all the A, B. There's, there's A, B, perfect 382 right here. A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D to the upside right at the 382. Can't make it up. I don't know why it happens, but it certainly does. Those of you that have follow some of these things I sent out last night. We hit so many 382s. All of them worked, but, but, but one, and that missed it by just a little bit. And uh, I'll show you the one that uh, that's really interesting. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Stay tuned for Stan Harley, folks. Harley Stock Market Letter. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have the man who said the stocks were going to start going up on March 16th on the air, none other than Mr. Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letters. Stan, are you in the house? Mr. Pesavento, I am indeed. Well, you can call me, Larry. You can call me late for dinner. But my goodness, what a great call that was on March 16th, my friend. That was, uh, that was spectacular. <laughs> and we've been going up, bouncing around a little bit, but certainly going straight up since that time. Are we still going to go higher, Stan? I believe we are, Larry. Yes, indeed. Um, I think the, uh, the technicals certainly support a, a rising 
market environment. Despite all the negative news out there and the terrible war going on in Europe right now, the, the technical underpinnings, the cycles, the indicators, advances and declines, all of those things that we're going to review here in just a moment certainly support a rising market environment. Well, Basil Chapman certainly thinks so, and certainly I'm uh, not going to stand in front of that trade train. Boy, when market won't go down on bad news, it only got one way to go, and that's up. <laughs> I learned that. I learned that a long time ago. <laughs> okay, you want to uh, tell us that the first stock, we're, or first chart we're looking at here, Stan? Absolutely, Larry. This is a uh, <clears throat> this is a chart of the uh, of the S and P 500, going back about five years. This is a weekly chart. And this is uh, just an update of what you and I have talked about in the past. Um, what I have shown on here with purple vertical lines uh, are indications of a cycle uh, that I found averages 34 weeks over the long haul. This is the dominant intermediate cycle in the stock market. It fluctuates. It, sometimes it expands. Sometimes it contracts. But over the long haul, the nominal span trough to trough is right at 34.0000 weeks, 8.000 months. Those two numbers are Fibonacci, which is the uh, mathematical derivation of the cycle. And uh, uh, we're coming out of those uh, mid-March lows right now. Uh, mm -hmm. one, one can see that the price low actually occurred on the 24th of March, but the cycle bottom, uh, I'm sorry, the 24th of February. But the cycle bottom, which is the point at which the market started going higher, actually occurred in uh, in mid-March, mm -hmm. as you talked about just as we began. So yeah. uh, I, I see it's heading higher. Wow. Okay, the next one we're going to take a look at. Um, what are you seeing in this one, uh, Stan? Larry, this is a chart of the New York Composite Index, which is the broadest measure of market activity. It measures mm -hmm. all of the stocks traded on the New York Stock Exchange. And curiously, the financial media – Mm -hmm. uh, never shows this, and I don't know why. But uh, beyond the Dow, beyond the S&P, beyond the NASDAQ, even the transports, this is the broadest measure of market activity. And I ran this off shortly before our interview here this morning. And it is in the upper half of the trading range, not far from an all-time high. Yeah. So... <laughs> You know, Stan, I might have your answer why they don't show it. And that goes back about 25 years ago. We used to have the FTSE, if you remember. I think that's what they called it, wasn't it? Uh, no, the knife. Uh, the the knife. knife, the knife. Ah, well, FTSE knife. Won this. <laughs> yeah, it was called the knife. And uh, Paul Tudor Jones was a huge trader in that. But the volume started to dry up, of course, when the S&P and the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones started to move around. But what happened was they used that knife for uh, actually calculating the value of mutual funds, from what I understood. And that's why, because it's not tradable, they, they just don't talk about it very much. But it's a, it's a really good index for showing where money's going and stuff. I've always felt that. I mean, it's uh, it's been quite interesting. But that that's what I heard, and that's why they did that. Well, Tony, interesting you say that. I traded the knife a lot as well. And what I liked about it was the, the margin was much lower than it was on the S&P. Sure was. So you got... Yeah. yeah, assuming you're on the right side of the trade, you got a much yeah. better bang for your buck by trading the knife versus the S&P. Yeah. And we didn't um, have those herky-jerky moves that you get in the S&P a lot. The knife didn't do that. That's uh, Or very seldom true. did it do that anyway, true. for Be sure. Because that, there's uh, 3,000 stocks that comprise it as yeah. opposed to 500. Yes. You know, when we first, we first started trading this S&P back in April of uh, 2000, and, excuse me, 1982, you know, it was $500 a point. And now we're trading at one-tenth of that, and we're still having huge moves. My goodness, can you imagine trading that thing at a full value now? Holy cow. <laughs> that, that, was, uh, that was really something. I, I, those were the good old days. But all the days are good, and all the days are old. That's the way we look at it. Okay, uh, what is this uh, next one that you're looking at is the uh, the This SPX. is a daily. Yeah, this okay. is the daily chart of the S&P 500. The last two were weekly. Okay. This okay. is the daily, and and I think this will uh, illustrate what's going on today. We had an opening pop. We backed mm -hmm. off a little bit, and mm -hmm. here's the reason why. Um, this chart has three moving averages on it. The one in red is the 200-day. The one in blue is the 50-day, and the one in green is the 15-day. And why do I choose these? Well, it's a lengthy explanation. Uh, it has to do with cycles. 
But uh, mm-hmm. those three uh, time periods are closely aligned with the cycles in the stock market. Mm-hmm. And that's why these moving averages pick up the moves and denote support and resistance so very, very well. Well, look at the green line, the 15 day. It's still coming downhill. The mm-hmm. S&P 500 rallied up to it and it was a resistance line. And mm-hmm. so we're trading a little bit below it right now. I think the the uh, the trade winds are from the south, which is gonna push this market higher. But in the very, very short term, we're doing a little bit of jockey in here, a little what I call back and fill structure, either side of the 15 day MA. And then just above that, we've got the 200 day moving average. So we're wow. gonna have a little structure short term to work our way through. But as I'm going to show here in the next couple of charts, I think uh, the trend is, is northbound. Mm -hmm. Well, you've certainly been spot on, my friend. So you have to listen to someone that's been as right as you are. That's for sure. OK, let's take a look at this next chart. And now uh, folks will be able to take a look at it. This is your advanced decline line. Yeah. Yes, Larry, this is the advanced mm -hmm. decline line. And what this is, is uh, it's data that's derived from the New York Composite Index. And uh, every day there's a published list of advances and declines on the New York Stock Exchange. And I simply subtract the two and then uh, maintain a running summation of that difference, each day's net difference. And it mm -hmm. etches out a line called the advanced decline line. And as you can see, the advanced decline line bottomed on March the 14th. And uh, we have been pushing higher. We, we topped out around March 29th, sold off into uh, last week and now we are turning up and that green line that I have plotted on there is just a, a, a smoothing it's a 10 day moving average and the advanced decline line now is, is moving higher okay now the question that I have is I've noticed that uh, we have uh, three lower tops in here does that does that um, give you any type of um, concern or anything to seeing seeing that or the fact that it can't take out those highs as of yet or not well, uh, y yes and no. There's a yes and no answer to that question. What is significant is the advanced decline line topped out in early November, but the New York composite topped out around the 13th of January. So as you can see on this graph of the advanced mm -hmm. decline line, the AD line made a lower high, even as the Dow, the S&P, and the New York composite made higher highs. Wow, what that that's was good. doing was suggesting that a, a sell-off was, was imminent, which we got into okay. February and March. Okay, listen, uh, Stan, stay with us for your last chart. We'll be right back with Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee.
CFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. We're speaking with Stan Harley, the Harley stock market letter, and he's going over his advanced decline oscillator now. Tell us what you're seeing here, Stan. Uh, yes, Larry. This is uh, a, a different way of looking at advanced decline data. The, the last chart we, we reviewed right before the break was a running summation of each day's net difference between advances and declines. Uh, well, another way to look at it, I take the same data, and instead of... Uh, maintaining a running summation, I just compute a 10-day moving average and a 30-day moving average of the exact same data and plot it on the graph. And this constructs what I call an advanced decline oscillator. And it goes above and below zero, hence the term mm -hmm. oscillator. But it can tell us a lot about what's going on, so to speak, taking a, a peek beneath the hood, so to speak. Um, notice uh, at the January lows, uh, right around the 24th of Jan, the 10-day uh, moving average reached an extreme of about, oh, minus a 700, minus 800, right in that region. Then we had a brief rally. Then the major averages broke to a lower low around February the 24th, not round, right on February the 24th. And look at this, the 10-day moving average and the net difference between advances and declines made a higher low. And mm -hmm. then again, the closing averages of the uh, the Dow, the S&P, and the New York Composite made a lower low on March the 14th. But this oscillator made a second higher low. That's divergence. And that's bullish wow. divergence. Hence, the move higher. And you and I discussed this on the air the last couple of months as this was evolving. Uh, of course, we pulled back into the middle of last week. And now we're starting to trend higher. But look at that 30-day moving average. It is higher than, than uh, where it's been for the yeah. last several months. That structure tells me we are in a bullish environment, Larry, and the market is yeah. going to go higher. Certainly looks like it, Stan. You're not going to get an argument from me on that one, my friend. Hey, listen, I want to thank you for joining us today. We'll have you on again in a couple of weeks. And I know your time is valuable, but we love to hear what you have to say. And it's uh, first class stuff. So thank you so much for sharing it with you, with us. And we'll, we'll have you on again soon, if you don't mind. Uh, in a couple of weeks, that'd be great. My pleasure. I look forward to it. You bet. Stan Harley, folks, at the Harley Stock Market Letter. You can reach it at harleystockmarketletter.com and uh, get an idea of what he's looking at in some of these markets. Now, I wanted to cover just a couple things here uh, because we've had several of these markets that look extremely exciting here, uh, huge moves here. I'm going to bring up uh, the natural gas here right now so we can take a look at it. Most of you folks are uh, uh, not familiar with natural gas as far as a trading vehicle, but it uh, does all kinds of moves. You'll see up here we made this high just a couple of days ago right at $8.00. That's a $10,000 move on the downside, folks. You can see the ABCD stopped just short of the 382. And then what did we do last night? We made nothing more than another A, B, C, D, exactly at the 382. 
and it immediately dropped five thousand dollars the margin on this is 3900 folks well it's raised a, bit, a little bit now it's about 4500 now as i understand but that's still unbelievable the, the, the type that's 100 handles in the s p you know so that's a that's a huge move so those are just some of them we had uh, oh, gosh there were so many of them last night that uh, i think there were five and uh, of the five four of them worked uh, the fifth one was uh, just barely didn't work, but uh, still had a slight profit in it. But uh, those are really interesting ones to uh, pay close attention to. Uh, by the way, the, the story on the Netflix, to finish it up here, the gentleman, I don't know if he ever got out of the Netflix. He said he was going to, but he did mention that he didn't believe in technical analysis. And I gave him the book by Jesse Livermore, uh, The Reminiscences of a Stock Operator. And uh, and I show I told him on that chart of uh, Netflix. I said, well, if you don't believe in in technical uh, analysis now, you will shortly. Is what I what I said to him. But you can't get it. We got to share a couple of charts here that people have asked us to talk about. One here is SARS. Let's get this up here so you can take a look at it. This is the. Uh, the reverse of the arc. In other words, it's the short of the technologies, as I understand. And as we look at this, <clears throat> you can see we had a beautiful three drive to a top pattern up here, just perfect A, B, C, D. That's in the yellow, the yellow triangles. You'll notice the 61% retracement right here. That forms a head and shoulders pattern. With the move right back here, they're almost exactly at the same price. The time between the two is exactly equal, so that's a a perfect uh, a perfect three uh, excuse me 61 percent retracement, which suggests that maybe the technicals are going to get get a little bit of steam in here possibly because this is a reverse of the technicals. I understand, folks. This was told to me, so I didn't check it, but that's what the uh, uh, the, the smart minds outside of the commodity and forex markets are talking about. So that was one. The other one was the one of the European stock stock market. Let's get this one. This was very strange. I got a comment about this one. I hope the gentleman is listening uh, because I think he's going to be uh, I give him a little bit of information. The problem with this, this is a nice pattern. You can see the Gartley pattern right here. It should be sold. But look at this volume down here. If you're trading this, folks, there's so many things you can trade that are so much better than this. The highest volume this thing's ever had is around 50,000 shares. I mean, you know, Netflix does that in about 10 seconds, and that's a $200 stock, you know, so that, well, not 10 seconds, and, you know, a couple of minutes. But anyway, that that's just not enough volume to trade. You know, you can see the spaces in it and stuff like that. It's a nice pattern. It's a sell saying it's going to go down supposedly but uh, it's just not uh, it's just not worthy of, a, of, of your effort because of the light volume on that that was you know, that's the first thing I checked when I saw that the fact that it was an ETF with such light volume I didn't think it'd be worthy of that so I hope that helps it's my two cents worth and you get what you pay for as you say if you pay more than two cents uh, you've overpaid now we're starting to see certain things in the market that are telling us in these grain markets that are a little bit a uh, little bit scary let me bring this one up here right now this happens to be the uh, wheat market you can check it out also with soybeans they did pretty much the same thing but here again with the wheat uh, there was our high that we made back here Look at our look at our high last night, exactly at the 382 to the tick, and then boom, down she comes, 20 some cents. I mean, this is uh, telling us that yeah, maybe things are not uh, so kosher as they try to tell us over here. So we got to pay attention to these commodities because they might be heading down, and that would be interesting to see how these things would uh, start to move around as they as they go through these uh, different cycles that we we see all the time. Now we had another one. Uh, also uh, in the gold market that was uh, uh, very, very interesting. And if I can just find the doggone thing, and I think I will, I think I can, I think I can. Here it is right here. Let's get it up here. We'll be able to take a quick look at it. And I have this was as it was when we sent it out. You'll notice here that we went uh, up to the uh, exact 382 again right here at uh, 1957. The high was 1957 and a half. And uh, there was a there was your first 382 right here, and there was your second one. We went all the way down, came down to 46. We're trading around 52 right now. That's got to break even on it. Let's take a little break. 877-927-6648.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Okay, we're back, folks. I posted the chart that I think is the most important of the day. This is the 382 on the NASDAQ going back to the high that we made way back there in late March, back on the uh, 24th, I believe. We came down. We took out the high of uh, the 14th, folks, by 20 points, and we made the exact 382 retracement, folks, to the exact tick. It went one point above it above the 3.2, so you have to say that that is valid. Now, if we get above that, boy, that should mean a heck of a rally coming on, and so we'll see uh, what's going to happen uh, from that level. Uh, someone asked me about Netflix, folks. I just look at the charts. I don't know anything about it. Never been a Netflix subscriber. Don't intend to do that now either, but um, this is a very interesting chart that we have here uh, in the NASDAQ, the fact that it hit that number you know, just absolutely spot on. So very, very important. And as you can see from the German DAX, we're seeing that same pattern in the German DAX that I posted first when we started the show today, exactly at the 382 retracement. Tomorrow, we're having Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly. We'll be chatting with him. Also, he'll be talking to us about the cryptos. He's had a pretty good handle on those. And uh, we'll be all really interested in that because the cryptos have really held a major bottom in here. And looks like if we can get it above 48,000, this thing could really have legs in the uh, Bitcoin market. But, of course, it's a long distance uh, from that level uh, right now. Also, folks, uh, even though we've gone through – I have a funny story to tell you. Uh, if you go into Hong Kong, folks, there's a one-week – uh, quarantine and the hotel that you go into gives you all three meals but your ticket your your ticket your uh, 
your pass into your room, your ticket, your key into your room is only good one time. If that, if you try to get out and then go back in again, you're in big trouble. So the key only works one way, one time, and that's it. The rest of the time, they they bring the food into you, and that's it for seven days. Uh, whether that'll change or not, I don't know. But you know, it looks like many of these things. Uh, it's amazing how one man, a federal judge, can say, "Yeah, these masks are no good," and the rest of the world says, "Yep, you're right." And all of a sudden, all the airlines say, "Yep, yep no more masks." And uh, it's amazing how things change, isn't it? It's not how you. It's not how you vote or how you count votes. It's how you weigh the votes. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow with Tim Boss. See you later, folks. Bye-bye.